So let's suppose that we're trying to convert 50 cubic feet into cubic meters, trying to figure out how many cubic meters we have. Uh, from our conversion chart, we know that one foot is the same as 0 0.3048 meters. So the way I like to handle a lot of these conversion problems is to set it up so that I can see everything written out very clearly. So for cubic feet, I might do something like feet times feet times feet, right? To really see all three of those dimensions because that's really what's happening here. And so if we start with that, we know that we need to get rid of all three of those and end up with three sets of meters so that we get our cubic meters. So we can use our conversion. We can say, okay, if I need to get rid of feet, that means I've got feet on the top, I better get feet on the bottom. So I'm gonna use this conversion. One foot is 0 0.3048 meters. And what I know about that is that this unit of feet will cancel one of these on top. So we still have some work to do, and we only picked up one unit of meters. We still need those other two dimensions. Well, we can just keep using the same conversion. So 0 0.3048 meters on top, one foot on the bottom. That's gonna cancel another unit of feet, and then we just have one left. So do this one more time. 0 0.3048 meters for one foot and then we can say great there's our last unit of feet getting canceled and anything that's on the top we're going to multiply anything that's on the bottom we're going to divide so this is essentially a big fraction that we're working with it just doesn't quite look like it i like to segment like this just for my own clarity, you might see this in uh, things like chemistry when you're doing a lot of unit conversion. So we're going to multiply across the top 50 and then 0 0.3048, and that shows up three times. So I can't do that one in my head. Uh, so let's see what that comes out to. I believe we end up with, um, well, let me put it back up there. Uh, 1.416 if I round. And it's always a good idea, wait until the end to round. So don't multiply this first one and then round, multiply the next one and then round. That's potentially gonna cause some problems. So multiply everything through and then round all the way at the end.